Hello there. Thank you for staying with us and welcome to Face Off. I am Neota Igbe. Many a times we've looked at the situation or the environment around us and we've thought, why are things happening the way they are? There are those who believe that the society is a microcosm of what happens or a bigger picture of what happens at home. Therefore, it is a reflection of what happens in the home. But then there's this other school of thought that believes that every individual, regardless of their upbringing, is a product of his choices, a product of the things he or she chooses to do or places he or she chooses to go to. So the question or the statement that some people will make that the society is a reflection of the home is not true. But is that the position? Is it true? Is it a fact that whatever happens in the society is because of what happens at home? Can things be changed for the better? Is it possible that people who grew up with very good upbringing can turn out bad? Now, these are all questions we're hoping we'll get answered today. And I have two um, people, two guests in the studio. One of them is a community development strategist. Actually, I understand she's a civil engineer who has turned into a strategist for community development, Omoomi Afolabi. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. And on this other side is an accountant who's decided that he would rather be packaging individuals. Uh, a day 20 if uh, they be. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you on the very show. much. Okay, um, lady and gentlemen, you have um, 10 seconds each to state your position. Is the society a reflection of the home? Yeah, the society is the reflection of the home. I support that portion. Okay. Well, I would say that um, man is a product of his choices. So no matter what family a man comes from, I believe that whatever a man becomes and what our society is eventually is actually a product of the choices individuals make, not okay. families now. All right, so I do not agree with what she's saying. All right. Okay. We are here and good to go. You want to ask a question? Let him go first. Well, ladies first. So I'll go first. I'm a very perfect gentleman. Okay. Um... Typically, when people debate, they expect you to define the keywords, you know, community. Yeah. Um, why society. do I say community? Society, society. Um, family, home. I'm not going to do that for you. You have Google, so find out, <laughs> you know, what those definitions are. But I'm going to say that the society, um, the family is the, um, the smallest unit of the society. We learned that in social studies, right? Okay. And... It's like the foundation of a building. Okay, I did civil engineering, so I think I have an idea about just how important the foundation is to a building. Now, if the foundation of any building is faulty, that building will not last. It will well, not stand the test of time. Okay, mommy, sorry. So sorry to cut society, you. Before you go on, I'm going to ask you something. The, the family is a small unit of society. Mm -hmm. Is it the most effective when it comes to socialization? It's the basic. It's where is it the, it's the most first effective? contact, the is first the most contact that a child has okay. with the world is the family. That's where the child learns values, the values of fairness, the values of integrity. The values that are transferred from cultural conventions. Yes, you agree with me? It, yeah, because right. if you look at a ref, like if you, a reflection, what you see, if I take a look at the global environment and I see what's going on around the world, it shows me that there's a decadence in the moral values in the family. What that means is, if more people will intentionally raise children, you know, on, on, the, on the principles of good values, they will turn out to be good. Ever heard of turn up a child the way it should go, and when he's grown, okay, you know, he would I'm, not depart I'm, from I'm, it. I'm glad you actually brought that from the Bible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you one question also. Now, um, Jacob had children. Okay. He had Joseph and his brothers. Now, Joseph was sold into slavery. Mm. Not by the outside world. Mm -hmm. By his own family. So how do you explain that? Was it that one person was well brought up, the other was not? Or some men just made some choices? Um, I would say his brother made their choices. But in that same so group you, of people... So, so, so you agree with me that people, it's the choice, No, no, actually. no. In that same group of people, okay. were, some of his brothers say, okay, you know what, let's, don't let us kill him. Don't yeah. let us do this. Yeah. Because they still had a conscience. It means that the father, one way or the other, had did a good job with training them. So somebody went astray. Does, it's not because an of the choices that he made. Yeah, but then if his parents, what I'm saying is, 
if, if we intentionally nurture people, if we teach them values, they will turn out to be good people. Now they can make choices. You, you, they can make bad choices. People can make bad choices, okay. right? But when they have things that help them make informed decisions, when their foundation is built on something that is lasting, then they can make informed decisions. Okay, now, um, 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 I'm going to say something now. How do you, I, say, I use Joseph as an example now, yeah. how do you explain the one that said, let's kill him? And how do you explain the one that said, no, let's not kill him? It's will alter our father. Now, let us kill one of the sheep and then stain. It's just to create a story so we will protect our father now. Now, these are children from the same family. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you now is that I believe that every individual which makes up the society at large, now, it is the choices that they make. Someone decides, okay, you know what, I'm in this office, I am not going to steal money. Even if in my family they expect me to steal money, it's okay for me to steal money, but I am Somebody not going to steal him money. That. He did, now, he did let me, let me say something space. now. No, did, you know did, something? No, did you hear what he said? He said, even though in my family they expect, they expect me to me steal money. They expect me to steal money. It might be a, a son of somebody who would have stolen money if he went in that position, mm -hmm. but then... It just feels like, okay, no, I'm a different guy. It's the same thing. This Somebody is me now. Him to Not steal. his family is what no, I'm no, telling no. you now. It's some, it, it, even though they expect me to steal from home, yeah. somebody, that's a reflection. Somebody somewhere taught him to steal. Okay. It's a reflection of what our homes. So if we have good homes, we will have good society. I don't agree with you, you sincerely. If, what I'm saying to you is, now, my family expects that I will steal. Mm -hmm. It's national cake. Mm -hmm. Our brother is there. Mm -hmm. My son is there. He will chop and buy me Oma. Fantastic. That's what he expects from him. That's the kind of family he's from. But he says, no, mom, dad, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to take a naira from government. I'm going to do my own job and spend my salary alone. Now, where did that come from? Not his family. He, he, along the line, one way or the other, that person must have learned values. Maybe he... He picked it up from a book. He picked it up from relating with somebody okay. else. Maybe a mentor or something. Not home. Not home. No, but not the family. That's why I said to you, the family is 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 the smallest, but not the most effective. Oh well. Um, in, the, in the in the area of in society. the socialization, and that's where morals are passed. That's 